back to our Facebook Live Friday. Just doing a test. Is everybody hearing us, seeing us? Waiting for everybody to log in, get their lunch, snacks, drinks. So today we're going to be um, supplementing on cell phone cases. We're going to tell you the difference. Just please comment in and let me know if you're there. We've been having some technical difficulties the last couple of weeks. So I, oh, yep, I can hear us on my phone. So. Okay. Uh, right. James, of course, is there, and as well as Nathan, and let's go. All right. You want to use mine? Yeah, All right. mine's not, like, bringing it up. No problem. All right, let's see. There you go. And we Here's just want to make sure we're able to see your comments <laughs> and your questions. Oh, wait, now it's coming through. Okay, Sorry about not that. a problem. Okay, All good right. morning, everybody. All right, so today we're going to be doing the wonderful world of cell phones, sublimation, back plates, um, everything you need to know. We kind of already have some stuff set up and ready to go, so we're just kind of just going to jump into it. Yes, yeah, so don't forget to share out this video as well so um, other people can know what type of products you offer. Today we're going to be mainly working with thermal tape. We're gonna have our non-stick sheets. We also have our heat protective gloves. Of course. Because it's gonna get hot when you're working with aluminum back plates. So we're gonna go into discussing the difference in cases. We do have grips here, we have stackers here, and we have um, your basic cell phone cases with the back plates. Um, these here are our stackers. They come no, this isn't the one. <laughs> they come um, in a little plastic bag like all of our cell phone cases do. These actually separate and then can be stacked up. Now when you want to put an image into it, you would first sublimate the aluminum panel, line it up with the camera hole, and it's going to be like a little ledge in there. Mm -hmm. Just put it in and just line it up to stack it and close it in place. Yep, so you wanna put your phone in first and then put the top back over so that way it kind of encompasses your whole phone, protect it, and it's also custom made. What's really good about this is you can change out the back plate. So if yes. I wanted to trade with Bianca and now have a pink case with beautiful Gigi on it, <laughs> then I could do that. Or if she wanted to have the blue stars, we could switch them out. Absolutely. That's the fun of those. You can also do that with the grips. The grips are pretty good because they're a little bit more sturdier mm -hmm. if your phone falls. So it gives a little bit more cushion and protection. And they're just a softer feel as well, all around. This one also has a little ledge in there and then your phone will keep it up. It's hard to keep it up with my hand, so I'm gonna use what it comes <laughs> with in the package to kind of give you the idea. So then that's how that one stays on once the phone is put in place. And again, interchangeable, so we really only need you know, one base, either the stack or the grip, and then you can uh, interchange the rest of them out for, you know, different events, thing, and holidays, anything you really want. Yes. So here we have a couple different type of cell phone cases. So you can also sublimate using a 3D vacuum press, which mm -hmm. we're not going to do today because we're right. focusing on the back plates with the heat press. But that's how you can get all the edges. So we do have a lot of different cases. Mm -hmm. We have the stackers. We have the grips, we have the ones that you can sublimate all the edges, and now our favorite here, the back plates with yes. the regular cases that just snap onto your phone. So they'll typically come in a bag like this. You'll open it and your back plate is here. So you gotta just tap it a little bit for it to come loose. And this is where you're gonna stick it when you're done. So you so just leave that on until you're done. That's you know pretty important. You don't want any extra things getting on it so it doesn't stick well. Yes, so right now we can, um, Press our first right. one. I'm going to do this one first? Yes. All right. Now, this one you want to make sure you line it up really good. Right. You want to have extra bleed. Um, so, doing this design because football started recently, getting into preseason. Now, um, this one is really tight to the edges because we did have a lot of these designs left over from when we did our conference. So, we're utilizing them today. I mean, I could do another one. And no, no. Kind of think no, it's right. going to be perfect. All right. It's good. It has a little bit of extra bleed. You want to always have bleed. Right. And then um, right. we're going to take the thermal tape, we're going to take the design. Right. Oh, that's a little too much extra tape, that's okay, <laughs> not a problem. It's easier, um, if you see how Bianca's doing it, taping the design while the design is face up. Right. But I did it a little backwards, but that's okay. <laughs> so just tape it around so that way make sure it stays on there for you. You want to use your non-stick sheet. You want to have one on the bottom and then put your case down with the back plate 
and which way should we do this? You can put like it like this, um, or should we flip it up? You can put it with the design face down. Okay, like that. Yes. All and right. Put another nonstick sheet. If you do not have a nonstick sheet for the bottom, that's fine. You can put like a blank piece of paper. It's just something to catch the extra bleed residue. All right. Have the heat press set to 400 degrees, 60 seconds, medium to heavy pressure, and there go all the phone cases. This may happen throughout <laughs> the broadcast. So don't be alarmed. All right, so that's set for 60 seconds. Once it comes off, I gotta get my gloves ready because it's gonna be super hot. I wanna take that tape off, you know, because it is metal. Yes. So we do advise, you know, using gloves and everything like that. All right. In the meantime, you can start taking off your sticky from the back of the phone case. It's very adhesive. So you mm -hmm. wanna make sure, oh, lost <laughs> another one. So you wanna make sure that you don't let anything touch it. Right. So you're gonna have, I don't know if you can see it from the angle, the glue, and then we're gonna stick the design right on there. You wanna wait until it cools to stick it on there as well. Just because again, it can be very hot. You, just, you know, usually a couple minutes we found that it, till it cools completely. All right, just got about five seconds left over here. It's a shame we don't have our Jeopardy music today. <laughs> yeah, so that um, time temperature is 400 degrees. For 60 seconds, we're just going to lay this one down here. <laughs> and the back plate has to be um, face down. All right. So don't be a hero. I know. Use Every the gloves. <laughs> and keep sharing this video out. Right. Okay, so we're going to let that cool. So it's very hot, but there you go. That's the final one we have here. Getting ready All for right. football so Should we can lay, lay it down lay anywhere. Up, lay right there. Right, throw that in the trash. And it's very important that you always check the cases. That one we had already peeled it prior mm -hmm. um, when we were setting up, but there's usually a coating on our products to protect it. Yes. So if it's there, you wanna make sure you check first because if you try to press on it, it is going to melt onto it. And um, you're gonna notice the difference in that. So right now we're gonna do Another design. Right. Do sure. So we're doing this one, right? Yes. So this one. So when you print it out with your SG400, SG800, it's gonna look a little faded, just like any other regular sublimation item. But as soon as you you know get it going, it should be fine. So let me just tape this back up again. Mm -hmm. We're just letting the football cool down while we press the back plate of another case. But it shows you how quick it can go because in that 60 seconds that you're pressing, you can be doing something else, preparing for another shirt press or another phone case, getting stuff ready for another job. All right, another 400 degrees, another 60 seconds, medium to heavy pressure, we always prefer. Do we have any comments or questions so far while we're waiting? The nonstick sheets are um, very easily wiped. So we didn't just wipe it down because it wasn't a lot of bleed through for that one. Um, but if you have bleed through on the nonstick sheet, you just wipe it down. They're reusable and they're easy to clean. So this way it doesn't get on your next design. But that's why I like personally using a sheet of paper. Right. Um, I just couldn't find one. So the <laughs> nonstick sheet was good for us. But you can throw it away when you're done with it. Absolutely. All right, another 20 seconds. Yes, and we already kind of like cheated. Yeah, a little bit. So we don't have to wait for that one to cool down. So we'll be able to show you this same design um, and how you apply it on. And let's check this football and see if this one say it was a little still toasty, a little but warm. We don't want to melt the glue no, on the adhesive. Which is why you want to wait just till it cools completely. You know, you can probably do a couple while you're waiting for that first one to do it. Right. Get the cool out. that heat press right off if you can reach it. Yep, absolutely. All right. Again, so oh, that's going to be hot. All right. Be very uh, So there is the printed one, but like we just said earlier, kind of already have one done. Because that one would have to cool. So now we took the adhesive layer off, and you're just going to line it up. My little trick is going, just like when you get a new screen protector, you want to start from the edge to make sure it's lined up. It's a little tricky, like a screen protector. You know, yeah, there's you always, make sure. you gotta make sure it's absolutely perfect. 
and then just lay it down. You want to press it and that easy, it's done. So you have a product that just costs a few dollars to produce. Mm -hmm. You know, um, the cases vary. It could be anywhere from $1.12 to $3.49. Of course, the more you order, the price drops. Right. But custom cell phone cases, you can sell anywhere, you know, from $14, exactly. depending on what the image is. It's the image they're paying for. It's the memory, um, the bragging rights to show <laughs> off your beautiful children or their awards. So it's very simple to do. This one may be cool enough now. Did you want to do this one? No. Oh, okay, you. just making sure. Yeah. I'm not so good with the screen protectors. I usually take it to the uh, cell phone place <laughs> and have them do it. Everybody in my house brings them to me. <laughs> I have to sit down in the kitchen like it's a doctor's appointment. And then the same thing. You just put it on. And the adhesive is very, very strong. So I would take my time. Don't rush right. to try to put it on because it's not something that's going to easily come right back right. off. Yeah. And there you have it. So we're ready for football. Here's one. Woo. Here's the other. There you go. So remember, these are the snap-on cases with the um, back plates to customize. We have the stackers. This is the before. And we also have the grips. And then if you're out, uh, the people out there that have 3D sublimation heat mm -hmm. presses, we do have the ones that you can snap on that are for the rounded edges. That you'll need with the molds and the case. And then that's a little bit different instructions. Uh, maybe we'll do it on another Facebook Live. Will you be stocking the Galaxy 8 cases soon? Um, I'll definitely send a message over to that department and see if we could get those in right away. Don't forget to share this. I can't say that enough, guys. You never know who might want a custom phone case for their favorite sports team. Like Jess said, your kid's bragging rights. Um, you know, there really isn't a, there's a, tons of opportunities out there. Somebody said they were, Stephanie said she wasn't aware of the cover film. Um, that happened to, yeah. us, happened to us before, especially me at a conference, actually. I pressed one of them and was just so in a rush, forgot to peel the film. So it does give a cool effect to it, but if it's not the look you're going for, <laughs> I don't recommend it. And it is, you really do need like a sharp nail to get in that corner. Uh, if you can't get it on that corner, you got three more to try. So it is... Uh, it, it'll definitely come off for you. Just want always want to double check. Yeah, so it looks like we don't have any more questions. You can always give us a call, 1-800-678-8289. Email us at service at proworldinc.com. Um, or, you know, comment below. So yeah, we absolutely. appreciate you being here with us today. And look forward to seeing you next week. Right. Have a great weekend, everyone.